right now. And new this morning, after days of debate and bickering among city council members, San Mateo finally has a new mayor. They do. Yeah, last night, members elected the new mayor and its fifth city council member. We've got Crawford Sarah Stinson following the back and forth on that's been following it all week. Good morning, Sarah. Yeah, it's been a lot, you know, over a week of controversy and disagreement about how the city should elect the next mayor. And it came to a head last night in the meeting. But in the end, after five hours, the San Mateo City Council elected the next mayor. Take a look. This is Amarance Lee right after the vote, sitting there at the placard that reads mayor. Lee has served on city council since 2019. She is now the city's first Asian American mayor for over a century. City Council in San Mateo has named the most senior council member as the next mayor. But after the election, the two newest council members objected to this, saying they needed to fill the fifth vacant seat on city council first. You can see them doing that there. This caused much debate on what the right order should be to first elect the mayor or first elect the city ca the council member. There was even a rally in front of city hall demanding Lee be elected first. The city council ended up filling the vacant city council member role first with Rich Hedges. You can see him right there. He was the final council member to vote yes on Lee becoming the next mayor and he made sure to add his opinion about what the order should have been. Committed to the city charter, I help revise it and the first order of business for reorganization is a mayor and I vote for Councilman Lee. I want to say that I do feel optimistic that our new council will continue to serve San Mateo with honor as have so many other community members who have been a part of this process to get us through this first order of business. And take a look, this is Lisa Diaz-Nash, who's one of the newest council members and was named as deputy mayor. She was one of two against electing the mayor first, yet Mayor Lee voted yes to Diaz-Nash becoming deputy mayor. Before any voting happened, though, last night Lee made major allegations about what was happening behind closed doors regarding the process of her becoming mayor. I've reached out to the city attorney's office to see if they'll be looking into these claims. For now, I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in the newsroom. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah. Well, 8.34 is the time.